doing the robot. Yeah. Oh, no. You been sipping on some scissor? Because we're arrogant. That's why they hate us. My mom would put me in talent shows. That's why I'm doing this stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> she put me in talent, it was the worst, man. She always put me in talent shows, because everyone in my family sang. I had an uncle that sang, everybody sang. Then my mom would put my sister and I in these talent shows. My sister can sing. Me, I can do anything. I was just be, be behind her, <laughs> doing the robot. My mom would be like, break down, Joseph. I'm like, I hate her. I hate her. One time she was like, Joseph, I have to talk to you for a second. Come here. Come here, Joseph. <laughs> I was like 13. She's like, Joseph, I have to talk to you about something. What is it, Mom? Well, it's just that everybody in the family has talent. Uh, your uncle, he has talent. Um, your sister has a talent. Uh, but you, you don't. <laughs> you don't have any talent. You just do the... What is that? I don't even know what that is, Joseph. You just keep breaking down. I don't... And I was like 13, you know what I mean? And, I, and this is when my mom found out I had some kind of talent. Like, I was taking a shower, okay? And when you're 13, you don't really take a shower. You're kind of like, I mean, you, you're washing stuff, but it's usually like right around this area. Right here. <laughs> when you're 13, that's all you wash for about 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and my mom's like, wow, he has been in there for a long time. I hope he's okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should check on him. See if he's hurt or something. And she opens the door and catches me. Going at it. <laughs> and she's like, oh my God, Joseph! Put down your penis! Put it down! You're going to go blind! So I'm 13, and I didn't want to get caught, so I, I had to play it off. And I was like, like, when I was a kid, Michael Jackson was like the big thing. Like, everyone was dancing, like, and I was like, no, I'm doing Michael Jackson! <laughs> and my mom was like, oh my God, that's talent. And I found out since I've been in entertainment, the more money you make, the more they waste. That's right, because my friends love Rolex watches. Oh, they love them. I didn't even know what a Rolex was. I come from the west side of Chicago, pole broke. I know what time it is. Time to eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm trying not to think about the time we broke around here. My friend comes showing me his watch. He said, look at this watch. I said, oh, that's so cute. He said, cute? What you mean cute? You know how much this damn watch costs? I was like, no, I can't say as I do. He said, $16,000. I said, you been sipping on some scissor? <laughs> what the hell made you pay $16,000 for a watch? And you, you know he tried to justify this purchase. He started telling me, see, this is a Rolex. Look at the second hand. See, the second hand on a Rolex, it glide. But the second hand on a regular watch, it jerked. I said, that's all you got? $16,000, all you can tell me is the second hand glide. Don't you know that for $16,000, the second hand ought to act like a damn second hand? For $16,000, that hand ought to jump off the watch and give you high five when your team make the damn basket. For $16,000, if your woman mad at you and you think it's gonna be a hard night, that second hand should jump off, grab the lotion, and tell you you gonna be all right tonight for $16,000. So I ended up calling him an ignorant bastard. And we got into it. He said, how come a brother got to be an ignorant bastard every time he try to look good? I said, no, you're misunderstanding. I'm not calling you ignorant because you like to look good. You said you paid $16,000 for that watch. Stand your ignorant ass right here and watch me. Excuse me, brother. Can you tell me what time you have? 10, uh, 10.35. 10.35. Didn't cost me a damn nickel. <laughs> 
That would be why you are an ignorant bastard. And it all started when I knocked this guy's drink over. But it wasn't like a guy, it was like, it was a guy. <laughs> you know, he was like serious. And it was one of those things where when you mess up, time just stops. Like it was all like slow motion, it was really weird. I was at the bar and I'm like, oh yeah, the bathrooms are right over there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and the guy was like so mad, he didn't even say any words. He's like, <laughs> and all of his friends were like, yeah, fight, fight, fight. And my friends were like, we're gonna go play pool, dude. Call us later, man. We'll see you later. I'm like, what are you doing? And I freaked out because it's, and it's not fair, because you know how animals, like God gave animals things to do when they get into trouble. You know, like they do cool stuff, and he didn't give us anything to do. You know, like on the Discovery Channel, like on specials, I saw this special about this lizard in Australia. And when it gets into trouble, its head swells up, and it just takes up. Like, that's cool, you know? But can you see some guy in a bar do that? Like, hey, hey, let's go, buddy. Let's do it. What, me? It's like, I'm not going to do that in a bar, you know? Not again. So I was like... <laughs> but I was like, I gotta do something, because this guy's right in my face. And I grew up with cats my whole life. And I thought about that. It's the only thing I could think of. And I was like, okay. The guy's like, let's go, dude. And I'm like, all right. Let's go. Let's do it. The guy was like, dude, man. I just started realizing I was American, man. I never thought I was American, you know what I mean? Till I left, you know? Or to the, to the you know, the attacks, man. I didn't like America, nobody. Man. Black people don't like America. But now I do, you know, because I travel. They hate us in other countries, man. When I go to other countries, man, I look for, you know, I look for people, I don't care if you got uh, KKK on your knuckle and big time redneck, man. If I see you in another country, you're like, you're my, you're my brother because they hate us, man. The same. <laughs> Call you Yank. Yank. And they say it with that Yank, that real evil. Because we're arrogant. That's why they hate us. Because we're arrogant. Our arrogance is far superior than anyone else because we, we don't care with our arrow. We don't, because we're not number one in anything, I don't think. <laughs> Basketball, whatever, sports. But we're not even number one in that, really. And we're just arrogant. We don't care. We don't know the name of nobody else's president. <laughs> they know GW. They know him. Other countries know GW. Ask somebody. But the thing is, why they hate us is because we don't know and we don't care. Cause you'd be like, what's say? Do you know the name of my country's leader? You'd be like, no. And they'd be like, well, his name? You'd be like, I don't, don't tell me that. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, don't want to hear that. <laughs> we, re we refer to our sports champions as world champs, and we don't play nobody else <laughs> in the whole world. We just played people from other cities, man. The Los Angeles Lakers are the world champs of Los Angeles and the rest of the world, because nobody can stop Shaq anyway, so we world champs. <laughs> I'm so arrogant. When I travel to other people's countries, I refer to them in their own country as foreigner. I act like they visiting me. <laughs> I look at them like, oh, where are you from, man? Where are you from? The clothes you got on, foreigners? Oh, who the... What is this language you're speaking here in Turkey? Speak English! 